Uh, mental health now, it's an issue that's becoming more popular to discuss these days and local law enforcement agencies have even designated officers who respond to calls related to this. But as our Andrew Christensen explains, there's a shortage of those officers. Rose Garcia looks for a place to sleep at her home, the streets. She's also living with mental issues like depression and borderline personality disorder. She tells me coping with past trauma has also added to her struggles. Um, as far as uh, mental health issues, the PTSD, I actually came to the streets with that already um, due to certain things that had happened to me in my life. According to Texas Health and Human Services, over 25,000 people in Texas identified as homeless in 2018, more than 16% self-reporting severe mental illness. Nueces County Constable Precinct 2 deputies have all gone through crisis intervention training, responding to calls from people like Rose who deal with troubling thoughts. Sometimes they will say that I'm not going to hurt nobody, but you can tell by what they've already done and their demeanor that they, can, they need help. On Wednesday, the Nueces County Commissioner's Court we are officially allowing them to hire four designated mental health officers who will respond to calls from people who live with issues like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Each one of us, you know, knows someone that has been diagnosed with some kind of mental illness and, it, you know, it, it touches one of each, everybody's life and, you know, we just want to try to, you know, help out as much as we can. The Corpus Christi Police Department is facing a similar issue. Sean Barnes is their only the full-time mental health you know, officer. You know, there are days where I have other things I have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if I have training or, or something like that, so my shift is left uncovered. They're partnering with the Nueces Center for Mental Health and Intellectual Disabilities Crisis Intervention Team, going on scene to assess people with mental health issues. Our main goal is to help the person by diverting them from the hospital or the jail, if possible. And even though she hasn't used the crisis intervention services, Rose says she's already seeing it help one of her friends. I want to cry, but not out of sadness, because I could see how the program can help to excel, how the program is an asset to not only our homeless community, but our city as well. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.